Hello everybody, Zachary Willer here, and welcome to the third video in our series where I will be looking at Marvel Comics over the past five years and how they have changed and evolved in order to better represent the ever-growing political landscape and a more diverse cast of minority figures. In today's video, we will be looking at Kamala Khan, the new Miss Marvel, Marvel Comics' first attempt at an unbiased and true representation of a Muslim character within their pages. Before we talk about Kamala Khan, though, we need to talk about who wore the mantle before her. Beginning in 1967 and created by Jack Kirby and Stan Lee, Captain Marvel was a man named Walter Lawson. An ordinary man from Earth, Robert's life was changed one day when he is abducted by an alien race of creatures known as the Kree. The Kree are a race of well-known creatures within the Marvel Universe who have a habit of traveling across the galaxy and experimenting on different species in order to create more powerful beings. Robert Lawson was one of their first experiments resulting in the man known as Captain Marvel. Unfortunately, the original Robert Lawson's career as Captain Marvel was short-lived, as only 10 years into his publication history he was diagnosed with terminal cancer and soon succumbed to his illness. Robert Lawson is still fondly remembered today as being one of the first and only superheroes to die from natural causes. Lawson's story serves to depict the pain and struggles caused by cancer in the real world and also provided inspiration for comic book writers to begin embracing more realistic characters and conflicts in the coming years. The next hero to take over the mantle of Captain Marvel was another Kree experiment, a woman known as Carol Danvers. Danvers would be one of Marvel Comics' first female superheroes who had their own monthly comic series. And while she has always been considered one of Marvel's strongest and more independent characters, early versions of this female Captain Marvel suffered from the same over-sexualization that plagued many comics throughout the 80s and 90s. Luckily, Carol Danvers was able to survive this time in her life, and at the turn of the century, she was given a new style and became significantly less sexualized, as she began to be presented as a strong defender of Earth and a competent leader above all else. Danvers would become a staple of Marvel through the 21st century, pioneering a women's revolution in comics by being one of the first strong female leads that broke all stereotypes and forced other comics to begin following suit. Then, in 2015, Marvel would launch their Secret Wars storyline that provided a new beginning for the company as they sought to welcome new readers to the genre. At this time, Marvel introduced new characters that gave unique takes on the classic heroes we have grown to know and love in order to provide a new and more diverse and well-rounded cast for a more socially conscious audience. One of the more popular characters out of this recent surge of superheroes is the new Captain Marvel, an Islamic teenager named Kamala Khan. Marvel's first prominent Muslim hero, Kamala is the daughter of two Middle Eastern refugees. Born and raised in New Jersey, she would grow up idolizing the superheroes of the world, even running a blog where she posts her own Avengers fanfic. Writing fanfic allows Kamala a way of escaping from her personal life. The comics portray Kamala Khan early on as a realistic character readers can relate to and understand. As well, the writers establish early on the Islamic fate of the Khan family in an accurate and respectful fashion. Care was clearly taken to avoid relying on negative stereotypes, and instead, Marvel portrays the religion in an honest and positive light it deserves and needs at this time. Even though Camilla rebels against her family as most teenagers do, she never resents her religion. In fact, in her troubles to come, she would turn to her faith for guidance and comfort. But before we talk any more about that, we probably need to know how Camilla Khan went from writing about superheroes to actually being one. This part of the story occurs late one night after Camilla sneaks out of her room to attend a party. After getting embarrassed, she begins her long walk home in the dead of night by herself, and slowly a mysterious fog begins to creep in. The fog turns out to be something called the Tigerian Mist, basically another experiment by the Creed. The mist changes something in Camilla. She begins to feel different, and her body is beginning to do strange things. Camilla decides to keep what happened to her a secret so that she doesn't have to tell her family she snuck out. But over the next day, Camilla discovers she can do a number of new things. On top of being able to stretch, Camilla discovers she has super strength, the power to shrink and grow her entire body at will, as well as having the ability to shapeshift. At this point, Camilla begins to grasp exactly what is happening to her. In a way, all her dreams have come true. She has powers now. She can be a superhero. And so, that's exactly what Camilla does. Deciding to pay homage to her favorite superhero, Camilla assumes the role of the new Captain Marvel. She quickly creates herself a costume and takes to the streets to start doing what superheroes are born to do, and that's safety. Although Camilla proves to be a natural at the superhero job, she did not anticipate the stress and exhaustion that comes with fighting the justice. As a result, Camilla begins to distance herself from her family, 
unable to confide in them because she knows they would always worry about what might happen to her out there. So in order to gain comfort and guidance, Camilla turns to the one thing that has always been there for her, her faith. Camilla goes to her local mosque and has a conversation with the holy man here, and with his wisdom and guidance, Camilla starts to come to terms with her newfound powers and the responsibilities associated with them. Panels such as these serve to humanize not just Camilla to the reader, but display the Muslim faith in a positive and honest way for people who might know nothing about the culture. With unwavering support from her family and community, Camilla continued to grow and develop as a superhero. As she continued down this path, she would have the chance to meet and fight shoulder to shoulder with her own idols, including the previous Captain Marvel Carol Danvers. Camilla would prove herself to the veterans time and time again, and establish herself as an important figure within the Marvel Universe. Through teaming up with veterans of the Marvel Universe, Camilla could continue to hone her skills and learn what it truly meant to be a hero. As well, the time she spent beside these already established faces benefited Camilla in real ways. This exposure allowed the new Captain Marvel to grow in popularity and become one of the biggest additions to Marvel's new generation of heroes. As a result of her mainstream attention and Marvel Comics' growing awareness and drive to provide minority representation in their publications, Kamala Khan was selected to lead the new generation of Avengers, who called themselves the Champions. This decision positioned Captain Marvel as one of the few female leaders of a main Marvel team, and the only time a Muslim character has taken the lead role in a crossover event. The decision by the editors of Marvel Studios to allow Kamala to take the lead role in one of their flagship publications further illustrates Marvel's new attitude to ensure equal and fair representation for all diversities within their publications. Throughout her time as Captain of the Champions, Camilla has proven to be a selfless leader, providing the youth, female readers, and Muslim audiences a hero they can be proud to call their own. Ever since her comic book debut a few years ago, Camilla has grown into a better superhero, more capable of protecting the one she loves. As well, the character of Camilla Khan has amassed a dedicated following of fans, eager to read her next adventure from month to month. But all this success does not mean that all of Camilla's personal troubles simply cease to exist. What exactly has made Camilla Khan such a popular Captain Marvel is the reader's ability to relate to her. Underneath the costumes and the powers, Camilla Khan is a nerdy teenage girl who loves her culture and her home and just wants to see it protected at all costs. Her popularity as Marvel's first Muslim superhero has allowed the character to cross over and appear in Marvel's television shows as well. Above all else though, Kamala Khan is a superhero that presents not only a faithful representation of Islamic culture, but provides a symbol for acceptance in our nation and what is possible when we work together.